Good morning, everybody. It's time to get hyper. It's winter time. Okay, all that was phony. Okay, for real. Hey, guys. So, I am back. I want to show you guys the babies. Um, I have not really took the time and really perfected their outfits, but I at least got them warm. So, you guys know I'm not neglecting these babies. And... I'm gonna go for the new people who don't know. This is my most favorite little boy right here. This is Cameron. And he is the uh, Everlay by Laura Lee Eagle Skull. And he is wearing my favorite little sweater. I couldn't resist. I had to put him on this sweater. So I put him on his little football sweater. He's such a sweetie pie. So I have him and I have my little girl Yasmin here and she is Freya by Tina Cooey and she is my most cuddly realistic floppy whoppy baby girl get your socks right yep and she is wearing this little scrumptious by Heidi Klum that was sent actually with the dreamy by um Stephanie Ortiz and everybody in this Binky, and she's not having a binky today. Not a binky. And this is he is Zavi by Adri Stoey Stoety. I don't know how to pronounce it, but he is wearing he's mommy's little firecracker, and he is wearing his little PJs. And oh, I absolutely love. Now he is for a big baby. He is my most cuddly big baby. And he looks like my son, and so he's just a, such a special baby, and I so love him. Which he don't stay in the nursery. He's usually in my room, and that's why you guys don't get to see. A lot of the babies you guys don't see is those, those are really the babies that I interact with the most at that time where you're not seeing them on video as much because they're in my room. And I mostly like to video in the nursery where I can bring in natural light, and so you guys can actually see the coloring of my babies. So moving right along, because I do have something to talk about, so I gotta make this really fast. I have I can talk all day. So then I have my sleepies, my little sleepy head. So I have Paris Mia Moore. She's done by Ten Years Weirs. I have uh Carter who's Isabella by Isabella Rose by somebody. And I have Chance which is hogging up the bed. <laughs> He likes to stretch all out. Um, he is the Cozy by Linda K. Smith. And then I have my Yavani, which is, um, she's Aisha, I think, by Marissa May. And then, of course, I have my two little busy bumblebees that I had to bring from down upstairs. They were in mommy room. And this is, of course, the new girl on the block. Say hi, Dreamy. This is Dreamy. And Dreamy is Elf Ira by Corolla Weatherich. And, yeah. And she's Reborn by Stephanie Ortiz in love with Reborns 2011. Yep. So that's Mommy's little pookie nook. She is the new kid on the block and getting all Mommy's love right now. And then, of course, we have Mommy's birthday baby. That's Kendall. So that's Kendall, and he, of course, was in the room with Mommy as well, sitting in his little chair watching TV, and then he fell asleep, and Mommy still brought him downstairs. And then, of course, dun -dun -dun, little busybody who decided that she wants to do something different today because she's feeling courageous, and she's been watching Dreamy. Dreamy's been bouncing all over the place. I don't know how. She's very little, but she's... Like on top of things every time I turn around. And so now, guess who wants to try? <laughs> One time she fell, poor little thing. I'm like, baby, you don't have that kind of magic. So, yeah. This baby Serenity. And she's sitting on top of the stool and got her little ducky. And she's having some apple juice. And she's looking out the window. So, yeah. Um... Too. Yeah, that's baby Serenity. And she's just all over the place with her little busy self. <sighs> Say yes, mommy. Say I am not gonna let her win all your love with all that magic over there. 
She said, I can do it too, mommy. I can do it too. Watch me. And she was climbing on top of this thing. And then she just like, oop, fell over. I was like, ah, my baby. So anyway, yep, that's baby serenity. And like I said, my new dreamy. She had my new dreamy girl. That's my new dreamy girl. And so mommy haven't did much to my hair. I just put on a hat because it's so cool. And I'm trying not to cover up her ears because I don't want to take away her magic or hurt her ears. I think her magic is in her ears. So, I was going to talk to you guys today. This is basically, you know how I do it. I just say anything and, and you know, I'm going to close my blinds because I don't want the police officer over here getting a glimpse of all this goodness over here. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, no, I, I've been watching eBay. Have you guys been watching eBay? Oh my gosh, I'm like totally tripping out on like the prices of the babies, but not just that. It's like, I'm looking at babies that I think are, yeah, they're great, okay, blah, 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 and they're going up for extremely high. And then you take somebody like Tanisha Crockett, whose baby looks breathtaking, that only went up, the bid only went up to 600 and something dollars the other day. And I was thinking like, wait a minute, this baby is absolutely stunning and look breathtaking, and you come to tell me that... People are paying more for babies that don't really have the detail or the the realism, the baby feel as this baby. So I was just like totally like blown out of water with that. So what I came to realize is, and you know, just talking with some of my artist friends and I can hear the frustration in their voices. They're like, you know, you know, why aren't my baby selling for all this money and you know, these collectors will pay, you know, good money for a bad baby or, you know, bad or not as well done baby. But then they will um, not pay money for a quality good baby or, you know, these babies that are beautiful and done by a skillful artist. You know, they struggle with the prices. And I'm not talking about Tanisha Crockett. You know, I'm just talking to general. She was just one of the ones that I just recently saw her baby that I thought was stunning didn't go up high with the bid um hey chill out boy and um yeah so i was just like okay so uh, what i want to tell the artists out here don't get frustrated first of all you guys are really really blessed to have a talent and to be able to charge as much for a doll at the end of the day this is probably one of the very few times that i will when it when it comes to money that's when i reference to my babies as dolls. I will refer to them as dolls when I speak of money because I love my money more than I love my dolls. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. Now that y'all following me, but I get off track. The point is, is that if you can make $300, $400, $500 off a doll, you are pretty good. Come here. Come here. If you Sorry, I had an escapee and he had his crayons in his hand and I refused to be having marks on my wall. Anyway, back to what I was saying. But yeah, you you guys, uh, first of all, when I first started, which was two years ago, babies were like 250 you could get a good baby. That was expensive. 300 was like, whoa, you know, you now six, 700 to get a really nice baby, you know, 500 at the minimum. And then if you get lucky, you might catch a sale or something like that, you know, for a non-rooted baby or not put together or whatever. But the point is, is that first of all, these babies are already extremely too high. I'm just keeping it real. And then you get frustrated because you see somebody selling a baby for three, four thousand dollars. Come on, guys. Don't 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 shortchange yourself. Don't think that your talent is any less than that artist because you're not selling at that price. You know. A lot of times it's about the timing. It's about the type of crowd that they draw. It's about the fact, simply because a lot of collectors, the true collectors, not doll lovers. I'm, I'm more of a doll lover than a collector, honestly. But tr the true collectors, I believe, this is just my opinion, I believe that they collect dolls for collectibles they're put them in a glass case and these are the collectors that are not online they're not on youtube they're not 
playing, role playing and all this. They are collecting for art. They are collecting for whatever realism. They are collecting for rare, fine babies. And then, therefore, these artists that only produce two to three or four babies a year are babies that they go after because they know that that artist is not going to duplicate that baby and that baby is going to be a rare find and they have something that somebody else may not ever have. And true collectors want rare finds, or something that will become of value later on to them. Something that is very unique and very rare. So that is why some of these artists um, like Crystal D and um, Tanisha Crockett, Brooke Nicole, Baby sell so high because look, they don't throw babies out all the time. You can't get accustomed with them just like that. And they're not doing the same kit over and over and over again. And like I had an artist tell me that they can do how many replicas they can of my baby. Well, guess what? You just brought your value down, sweetie. Because you know what? People do not want to buy the same baby that everybody else have. Everybody want their collection to be unique for the most part, most collectors. So people are not going to pay $1,500 for a baby that's going to be made over and over again. Not going to happen. So when you get frustrated because you think... You don't know what you're doing, what's going wrong with your babies, that your babies are not selling for $900,000 and all that. It's not that. It's not that. It's sometimes it's just about favor isn't fair or just, you know, these artists are artists that people, they have the right followers and people that have the money to spend it. And they are going after something that they believe that nobody can have. And sometimes they are going by a brand. People, there are brand collectors out here. They want to say, I have a Brooke Nicole baby. Boom. You can't do that. You're not going to go on too many channels and see Brooke Nicole. Just like Romy Stratum. Romy Stratum is a fabulous, brilliant. I give this lady so many props. Because she has not changed the body on her babies, as far as I can see. And just changed the face on her babies. And she is selling these babies for $25,000, $30,000, $16,000. I think I've seen $14,000 I've seen her baby sell for. And all she's doing is really changing the face of the baby. And still same type body or whatever. But because you are not going to see... A Romy Stratum baby, all the time, everywhere, people, real true people with money and collectors are going after a Romy Stratum baby because they want what you, what nobody else can have. And that's a true collector. Hands up to them. I don't have that kind of money. And I'm not hating on them and I'm not saying anything. I just want to tell my artists all at one time that guess what? You are still fabulous. If your baby won't sell past $700, you are still doing the most because guess what? If I pay another baby, it wouldn't sell past $50 because I can't root, I can't paint, and I'm definitely not going to fake it. And I can't deal with collectors like myself because I would get on my own nerves because I am picky about my babies and probably get on the artist's nerves. <laughs> so you guys are doing a fabulous job. Don't get frustrated. First of all, stay in your own zone. You know what I mean? You, you will be blessed in many ways to make affordable babies. It's so many of us that are so happy to be able to get beautiful babies at an affordable price. I can tell you right now, I've seen a baby that sell for $5,000 that cannot even hold a candle to this baby right here. I can guarantee you that. I can guarantee you that. But because of the name of who the seller was... In the crowd that they've drawn, they are selling those babies for that price. It doesn't mean that these babies are less quality. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. So don't get frustrated on it. And guys, collectors, don't kill yourself thinking that you got to get the most expensive baby to get high quality. I mean, that you, or you got to get the, you gonna, that's going to be the best baby in the world. Because guess what? My cheapest baby I have not had problems with. And I absolutely think 
she is absolutely gorgeous. This was my least expensive baby that I've gotten from that seller out of the one, two, three, four, out of the four babies that I got from the same seller. And she is my best baby and the only baby that I absolutely have no flaws, no gripes, no complaints about this baby. And she, I spent the, less mo the least money for her. And guess what? She sat on eBay for months. And months and months and months and months and months and months and nobody, nobody bought her. Nobody bought her. But then here come me. I kept looking at her and looking at her and I'm like, this baby looks like she's beautiful in person. I had no idea until I actually got her. And when I got her, oh my God, boy, was she worth so much more. So don't, don't just, you know, calm down. Enjoy your hobby. And that's just my opinion of the day. Some of you guys may not like it. But woohoo! I am me and I do me all day long. Because I am what? Uh, uh, uh. I am what? Uh, uh, uh. I am Serenity Smith. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, if you guys can see me dancing in my Mitch Match clothes. Let me show you what I got on. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Boom! I got on blue socks. And I got on my little schnauzer checkerboard pants and I ain't gonna even show you the rest of what I got on because it has nothing to do with outfit but anyway you guys I love you guys keep watching my videos I'll keep watching yours I love your babies I don't care if their hair is falling out and they got one strand of hair and two licks of paint I if you love your babies and you treat them like you love them I love them too and I think they're just as beautiful as you do because guess what it's all about how they make you feel if you love them you like them, so do I. Peace.